two types of change, changing reality, changing perception, and you can have the one without the other. The problem, it doesn't work. And this is the message of this third video. To change is to change twice. If you want to be a successful manager, successful strategist, you need to change twice. And let's take some simple example. Imagine somebody always late. No. What is change for this person? To become somebody on time. And you can separate the two types of change. In reality, what does it mean? Maybe a better organization, I don't know, less meetings or a better GPS in the car. He can, it's not enough. If he does only that, not enough. He or she needs to change her perception of punctuality. Suddenly realize, hey, it's good to be on time. It's efficient. It's nice. I have time for a coffee. Then, and only then, he will be on time. To change is to change twice. Let's take another example. People of my generation grew with newspapers. We have a newspaper and we read the newspaper. What's the mental model behind this? Very simple. Information is in the newspaper, goes into my mind. We enter internet, Google, the new world with this old model. And we don't realize maybe enough when we look at Google, for example, it goes both ways. Of course, I receive information, but we need to realize we also provide information to Google. It goes in both directions. And that is changing perception. To enter internet or in the cyberspace, it's not only about connecting and plugging and buying a new computer. It's also about thinking differently, differently. Third example, we consultants are concerned a lot by merge and acquisition, a lot. If you take, let's take the merge. If you take two companies, let's take two banks, you want to merge the two banks, two types of change. You need to change the reality to build one single accounting system. You have to build one single computer system, etc., etc. This is changing the reality. Not enough. What about people's mind? What about people's mind? Do they change the perception they have of their work? Sometimes it's the forgotten half of change. Sometimes I go in a new merged company and I hear sentences like, yes, but he or she is an XA or an XB. As long as people talk about XA or XB, C doesn't exist. If perception is not updated, if there is not a new mental model in people's mind, the merge will be a failure. You need to change twice. And of course, for a CEO, it's hard to manage, but he has to, he has to. What is a vision? The CEO has a vision. Bon, let's do this. A vision is an idea. It's a simplification. We're going to be the best service provider. It's a simplification, of course. And the problem is he may not change his or her vision. Why? Imagine a company where every single Monday morning there is an email all over the company. Update of the vision. What happens? After two weeks, nobody's working anymore. You need, and this is the challenge, you need to freeze your ID, your vision, your strategy. If you want to change reality, you need to freeze it. But the problem, the world is not frozen. So what's going to happen? A gap between a frozen ID, a strategy, and a world which is not frozen. And I illustrate this with, of course, this cartoon. I heard, I hear, I see a lot of people talking about new vision. 
But the message here is very simple. A vision is a change in perception. It's not a bit more, a bit cheaper, a bit light. No, 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 no. It's a new vision. It's a big change, a big new perception of the world.